Well, Hanford was part of the Manhattan Project. Its uh, primary purpose was to produce plutonium for nuclear weapons. There was a lot of waste that came from that process. So the really high-level waste, the high-level radioactive waste, went into the tank farms. But there was massive amounts of low-level waste that they needed to dispose of somehow. And so early on at Hanford, one of the solutions was to, to pipe the waste into these big infiltration galleries where they would just let the waste infiltrate into the ground. There's a lot of problems here that have never been faced anywhere else, and they take a lot of unique uh, approaches and scientific advancements to address those problems. But ultimately, the big goal is to protect the environment. One of the difficulties with the contamination in these infiltration galleries is that it's very deep. So it's very expensive to just dig it up. So we have to find a way to try to treat it in place. And this was a particular treatability test, a technology that was designed to keep the contaminants from moving downwards. And the basic idea is that you just dry the soil out. So, and by drying the soil out, you remove the gravity force that tries to push it down um, and you hold it in place that way. And in order to, to test the performance of how well this method is working, we need to see what's happening underground. It's very much like medical imaging. So you take these 3D time-lapse images and you can watch as this drying zone, in this case, grows through the ground. And that wherever that drying zone is, you know that, that um, area has been treated. One of the unique things that we've done is really brought high-performance computing to this problem. Remediation operators are doing things in the field. They need to know what's happening while they're doing the operation. And so uh, by bringing the supercomputing and we have the sensors in the field that are monitoring, it sends this information to the supercomputers that processes it, and then they deliver it back to the field in near real time. That's really powerful. We can do really big problems, big imaging problems, and we can do them really fast, um, which is a really unique, unique capability that we have. The personal interest I have in uh, just the science part and just advancing this type of imaging I'm very interested in. And Hanford's a really unique place to do that. I, mean, I can't think of any other place in the world where you could work on a problem like this that, that's not only um, scientifically interesting but also in, you know, important to the people around you that live around here. And, you know, um, so it's all, it's all very rewarding in that way, both from a scientific and a personal perspective.